So there's a question that I like to think about a lot. Well, not a lot, but yeah, like probably every few, every couple of days, I, the, the thought passes on my mind, and I would like to hear your guys' response to the question. Okay, so you have the chance to give a TED talk or some like um, even like as short as like a ten minute little quick little lecture just about something you want to talk about to a bunch of people maybe like about technology or about something you know or something you've learned what kind of talk or what would the subject be you know what i mean i can it's like that would be like the worst thing ever because it's like oh my god having to talk about a single thing and understanding it if i thought of it ahead of time i couldn't think of it very much because like for instance for me i can't script things i can't follow a script i can kind of have like a few things, like a few things I want, a few places I want to hit in a conversation. Like when I make a video, sometimes I have a few subjects, like at most like three or so, that I think about and usually they kind of disappear and then it, they kind of reappear while I'm, while I'm recording because like whenever I'm getting near the end of one thing and I feel like leading into something else because I'm like, oh, hmm, what was the other thing I was going to talk about? Oh yeah, that's what it was. Although for this one, I want to have that one thing that's, what would you do at a TED Talk? And, or what would you say at a TED Talk? And, so yeah, it's just always been an interesting little question I've thought about. I like throwing myself into the same situation as a lot of people. And it's always interesting, or at least in my mind, I like thinking like, what would I do in that situation? And I probably wouldn't give a very coherent TED Talk because I'm not good at like following a script. I'm not good at following what I'm thought of before. I'm just, I'm kind of better at just doing it on the spot. You know what I mean? And that can be a little more rambly, a little more running around, maybe not following the right subject. And I might do an okay job of making it seem interesting. Like I might be able to keep people's attention a little bit, but even that, it doesn't mean that I'm making an efficient method of conversing or conveying the subject, you know what I mean? Because whether I'm interesting or not doesn't mean that I'm actually conveying new and interesting ideas. I could just be very good at keeping people's attention and talking about that. I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is, a, this is the point whenever I would, I'm, I'm kind of like looking, through, sitting through, the, through my brain saying, hmm, is there anything else that I want to talk about right now? Hmm, don't really know. A lot of people worry about segues, like moving from one subject to the next. Hey, yeah, it's, this kind of popped up right now, but this kind of popped up just because I want to talk about it. A lot of people always, like, they try to segue between one subject and another really quickly, and I don't mind going abruptly, because then it's like, oh, it's it's like a, a gear shift or whatever, you know what I mean? Because like, oh, let's shift down a bit and start a new subject. And I always found that interesting. I don't understand, I mean, Sometimes it doesn't have to, you don't have to just lead gradually into a new subject. You can, you can be like, okay, that's pretty cool. Well, hey, have you heard about this? You know what I mean? Man. Yeah. Well, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos and get some food. I got a corn dog in the refrigerator that I got from Safeway. It's a brand I've never had, so I'm going to see how that corn dog is. It's like a dollar and fifty cents. It's, it's not bad at all. Hope it's a pretty good corn dog. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!